Hi guys, my name is Jennifer Aragon and I'm an intern at the PRBO Conservation Science Marine Lab and today I'm going to walk you through the process of collecting, sorting, and analyzing a Brant's cormorant pellet. This is a Brant's cormorant pellet, which is the regurgitation of indigestible materials. We collect these in order to see what the birds are eating and now we're going to take you into the lab to show you exactly how we analyze these. When we get back to the lab, we soak the pellets in water, which makes them softer and easier to look through. We run them through a sieve in order to sift out all of the hard parts that we want to collect. We're particularly interested in otoliths, which are fish ear bones. These will tell us exactly what types of fish that the birds are eating. And now for the fun part. We begin by pulling otoliths from the mucus. Each pellet is different and can contain anywhere from 0 to 700 otoliths. We put the otoliths in slides like these in order to ID them later. Pull all the otoliths from a pellet, we identify the fish that they came from. Each otolith is unique, as you can see from these slides. Identifying otoliths is a challenging process because the otoliths we look at have been through the digestive system of a branch cormorant and have been exposed to the elements before they come into our lab, so they're usually highly eroded. I hope you've enjoyed the process of pellet dissection. If you're interested in learning more or volunteering, please visit www.prbo.org for contact information.